back to another video. Today we'll be playing Playing Crazy, and we're going to be doing another creation review. I know the last video that we did was posted a month ago, actually. Um, I haven't been posting lately. Um, I will try to post a little bit more than I usually do. Um, I built this. I think you guys know what it is, and I'm not going to say, because I think you guys already know what it is. Okay, I'll say it for you guys that don't know. It's the RMS Titanic. So the story about this ship is, is that it sunk and hit an iceberg and it sank on its maiden voyage. So I decided to make it in Plane Crazy. Alright, so in this video today we will be playing Plane Crazy, of course. And we'll be testing it. Let me turn down the volume here so you guys don't have to hear me walking. Before we resume the video, I would just like to tell you to scroll down, make sure to click that subscribe button, and click the bell, and click all to get all notifications. Let's get back to the video. Alright, let's launch this ship. Okay. Do, do, do. Now this ship does fold. So all you gotta do is I'm just gonna fold it together and it's gonna form one big long ship. So see, I'm in the bridge, let me give you a tour and then we'll drive it around. Okay, so the Titanic had four smokestacks, three of them were actually working. Then here's the bridge, the captain's area. It's, all, it's obviously smaller than the real thing. Then here's like the cabin area where people sit. And then here's just where they get on right here. But yeah, this thing isn't very tall, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically the whole ship. It's very small. It's very, but it's pretty cool. It looks just like it. This is my longest ship that I built. Ooh, it's sunset. So let's go drive it around. Looks like we got another boat right here. Let's turn on our lights. And let's go. Okay, let's turn- This thing takes a long time to turn. I didn't put a lot of, um, engines to turn this thing, because I think, oh, I'm gonna make it realistic, and it's turning a big ship. So that's what I did here. Okay, as this thing is turning here, there's a little tiny ship right there. So let's, oh, looks like there's someone on our ship right there. Oh, there's someone on our ship. Okay, so this ship can go 52 miles an hour when I'm sitting in the chair. Obviously, the, the real ship didn't go that fast, but... Oh, <laughs> he's doing it. He's doing the pose. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so let's try to turn it. Oh boy, see, look how, look how hard it is to turn. Oh boy, I don't want to run into that. We don't want to sink it. Because it's real. Ship gonna make it through? Nope. <clears throat> we have ran aground, but obviously blocks can't break from that. If that, if this game was that realistic, that would be so cool. All right, so we're gonna stop it real quick. Ooh, see, it takes a long time to stop too. So we're gonna turn it so it's f facing forward. And then, while the ship is sailing, um, I have it, I can put it on autopilot, so I'm not, I don't have to sit in the chair. The thing goes 17 miles an hour, which is more realistic. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> Oof. Oh, oh, he got back on. Good for him. Alright. So, let's bring the engines to full speed. Okay, full speed, 52 miles an hour, let's get out of the chair, there we go, this thing's gonna slow down until it gets to, oh, it's 14 miles an hour, 
So we get the 14. That's the ship's autopilot. Oh, I need to turn it a little. So we don't ram into anything. There we go. Oh, <laughs> the lights flicker on this thing. That's just a glitch in this game. That I don't know why it does that. Okay, so, so we're sailing here. Let me make it day. So I constantly don't have to be turning on and off the lights. Okay, click L, I'll turn off the lights. Here's the ship in the daytime. Um, we got a passenger here. FYI, he did not sign up to come over. He did not sign up to come on the ship. <laughs> He's a coincidence. Alright, so we're sailing here. It's, it looks so realistic from this view. And from, like, this view, it looks so realistic. I try to make it as realistic as possible. I think the hardest part of the ship is the rear end. Because I have to make it perfectly for make the ship to look good. So here the propeller is here. So the Titanic had three propellers, two smaller ones on the outside, then a rudder, which, right, which doesn't work, and then the main big propeller. Oh no, I can't I can't stop the ship. It's too it would be it would be too late. Oh boy, we're gonna sink, man. We're gonna sink. Goodbye, buddy. Da -da -da. <laughs> ah! Oh there goes the ship. That's so hilarious. Oh, it's still dropping, it's still falling. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I will try to post two videos today. Um, yeah. Have a nice day. Bye, guys. Do, 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 do,